Hello, I'm Atu Jamir and you're watching Hornbill TV's Prime at 9, now news and details. A two-day conference of the Central Nagaland Students Association began at Fort Mile Agri-Expo Conference Hall in Dimapur. The introductory session of the conference was graced by Minister for Higher Education and Tribal Affairs, Temjanim Na Along. NSN Lota, former president NSF and CNSA founding member said, the formation of the CNSA was to strengthen brotherhood and unity among the Sumi, Ao and Lota tribes. About 320 delegates have been attending the conference. Let's have a look at a detailed report. The crux of Nagaland today is the division that we have brought forward. The crux of today's problem is the division of our own people within the state. And today, I pray and I hope that the Central Naga Students Association takes along and speaks boldly, not only for the three tribes of Nagaland, but for all the tribes of Nagaland, that is the 17 tribes of Nagaland. And that is the vision we need to carry forward. While building ourselves, we should not forget the others. While strutting forward, we should lift up the others. And may the unity of the Aos, Sumis, and the Lotas, the students, and also our senior body members, strut forward with that vision for a strong Nagaland today and for tomorrow. I am telling you, if we go and take the right path, the CNSA and its affiliated students will be the epitome of a new future for Nagaland and for all the tribes. We need to build better narratives. My dear young minds, we need to build narratives of our people. We need to build narratives of the Nagas of Nagaland. We need to be bold. We need to hold our future even if we may not be there. And we need to be humble so that in our humility we can say boldly what we want for our people. My dear young friends, history will not repeat itself. Today will not come back tomorrow. And what you have today is what you are grounded to and you should fearlessly walk and assert yourself. Today, there are hundreds of students and young minds with leaders of our tribes and our society and our peers. Do not just listen quietly. If we forget to make narratives for our people, for the people of our state, for you as students, then we do not have a future. We have been diluted and diverted in wrong narratives for our people. We have a lot of conferences, please don't feel bad. And we have a lot of what you call uh, uh, consultative meetings. But we don't have conclaves that speak about the new narrative for our state. There is a lot of difference between consultative meeting conference and conclaves. We talk about consultation. We only want to hear what I want to hear. We only want to hear what I want to hear and you only want to hear what you want to hear. There cannot be proper consultation in that. I am telling to the young minds. 
And if there is going to be conferences and conferences and only to listen, but not able to say what is in your heart, then how will we go forward? The very intention of this association was as founding member or we the founding members, our intention was to explore possibilities of a unity through cultural differences. Well, even now and before, Many Naga tribes, we have been talking so much about unity, peace, and understanding. But we are not able to actually set a kind of parameter or a method to reach that unity. So we thought like by trying to find out the cultural similarities amongst the various tribes, we can give a new kind of an idea to find out rooms so that we can be united through cultural similarities.